Finally tonight here, I remember as a boy watching, guessing who Peter Jennings would choose as person of the week. Years later, I had the honor of reporting for Peter, and it's hard for all of us to believe that it's now been 10 years since we lost our leader. He would never want to be named person of the week, so we won't hear tonight. Instead, we choose the everyday Americans who change the course of their own lives all because of Peter. I get up every day thinking that something is going to happen in the world that I didn't know about yesterday, and I have the opportunity to pass some of that on to the audience. Tonight, we remember an icon. Was it your boyhood ambition to always be in broadcast? Without question. It was. In fact, I, it worries me now because I think that if I hadn't got into it, I couldn't have done anything else. We were all grateful he followed his childhood dream. Now from our ABC studio in New York, Peter Jennings. Tornadoes usually kill slightly more than 200 people a year. Reporting for ABC News for four decades, Peter guided us through the most difficult of times. I checked in with my children, and it, uh, who were deeply uh, stressed, as I think young people are across the United States. And uh, so if you're a parent, you got a kid in some other part of the country, call him up. Peter Jennings is inside the village. Let's One of his earliest stories, Munich. BC 2000. Happy New Year to you all across the country. Peter ushered and in so many of the joyful the moments, the too. But we were all watching on April 5th, 2005. I have learned in the last couple of days that I have lung cancer. Almost 10 million Americans are already living with cancer, and I have a lot to learn from them. So many viewers responding immediately, quitting smoking because of Peter's message. Sometimes it just takes one thing to make you snap and say that's enough. For Nancy Ferris, it was Peter. Tonight, sending us this photo, healthy, cigarettes long gone. Hundreds of you writing to us today, Patricia telling us, Peter Jennings was the reason I quit smoking after 44 years. Thanks to Peter for opening my eyes. Joy Ellen wrote, I quit smoking 10 years ago today. And Gail told us his battle with cancer inspired me to quit smoking once and for all. And with all of the messages coming in today, we were reminded of something Peter once said. By and large, Americans are really hopeful people, and I think there's a great beauty in that. Lots of differences in the country, but there's a common denominator, I think, about being in America and of this society that breeds hopefulness. The CDC telling us tonight the response to Peter's message, unprecedented. So many of his lessons we still treasure right here. I'm David Muir. I thank you for watching, and I certainly hope to see you right back here on Monday. Good night.